Well, as promised, I said I would do a demonstration on my practical way of net making. Um, I make all my ferret nets this way, um, and they've always worked. I've obviously got conventional ferret nets, nine on ones uh, purchased. I've made hemp. Um, the only difference you'll find in these is the knots are slightly bigger because they're made, not made the conventional net making way. But as I say, they've never failed. So I'm just gonna give you a quick demonstration on how to make them and finish them off. So uh, let's give it a go. Right, as you can see here is what I use as a top ring, okay? Now I um, basically purchase anything really and what I've got up here is several um, shower curtain rings really and I've basically used shower, I've used the shower curtain rings there you go they don't rust and they're cheap. You'll find net making rings are quite expensive. They do rust eventually. So, but anyway, on with a practical demonstration. Let me just zoom in for you. Right, what you need to do first of all is cut 12 lengths of 14 foot line. Whatever you want. Here, Here I'm using 1.5 nylon line, okay. I use anything really, as you'll see as the demonstration goes on, okay. So I'm gonna use this one in, very, in two different colors so you can get the idea. And uh, sorry, just uh, sorting my dog out. Um, yeah, he's insisting on rummaging around my workshop. So right, yeah, first of all, divide the line in half so you're basically you've now got seven foot so that that turns out to be 24 lines okay so right here we go so grab your ring your top of your loop that you've made pull through the ring thread all this cord through and pull up tight get your second strand do exactly the same in half like so make sure they're nice and even believe me it doesn't matter if they do they are uneven uh, because you'll get different sizes in towels at the end of it all anyway um, I said um, 14 foot obviously 7 foot you will not end up with a 7 foot net believe me um, with this with this size material, you'll probably end up with a four foot net. The thicker the cord, the bigger the knot. So you'll probably end up with a smaller net. Okay, so that's the second one on. Third one coming up. Third. As you see on this, I've anchored it onto another piece of nylon. And basically what you do then is you can shorten this nylon, double it up as you go up, then hook the hook up. But I sit indoors in my chair making these and what have you. So it is relaxing to do this and it is so easy. Once you find out, once you get an, a rhythm going, it is so easy. Making sure just zoom in a bit there, making sure all the loops are separate and away from each other. Okay, next one. Should be a white. And say, it doesn't matter if they're all the same colour, I've just made one which I'll show you later as I thread the, the pull line through. Is all white, which is, I think, great anyway, because obviously they. Most nets you buy nowadays are multicolored, 
easy visible when you're ferreting. Let's say this this nylon line is strong enough to make a hammock from. Uh, one thing you should do as well, I haven't done it with this yet, but one thing I do advise, some nylon line you will get a fray, okay? So basically what you should do really is just melt that off. It stops it fraying as you work on it. Okay, I will do that later. I just wanted to show you this demonstration. So you carry on looping. Okay. Keep on going. All right. And another one. sure they're all separate the dogs now eating the bottom of the line what I might do actually I've still got quite a few to go cut 12 of these okay as I said you cut 12 so you end up with 24 strands at seven foot long okay what I'm going to do now is get rid of this one. Okay. Get rid of this one. I've still got, at the moment, I've attached one, two, three, four, five, six, seven at the moment. So, there's still another five to do on that. Right, let's bring this one out. As I say, sorry for the bit of silence here. Loop, you see another, this one is a different ring and also is a different thickness, okay? There's 12 lines threaded on there now, okay? So all I'm doing now is grabbing the loop, passing that through. This is just my anchor line, okay? and then just hooking me up, okay? Right. There's your 12 lines on there, okay? Right. You want about an inch and a half drop here. Outside loop, outside line, pick up, okay? Come round the finger, and let's just turn this a little bit. So from here, Come round the finger, pass it through, pull it through, and pull it down. There you go. As I said, the bigger the line, the bigger the knots. You'll see in a minute a smaller line that I've used. There you go. Okay, roughly about two of my fingers in width. Again, the second one, loop it round. So come up, come round, pull through, basically just making a loop knot, okay, pull it down, get your height, and again, second one, okay, pull through, pull down, pull up okay trying to keep them all even now I'll show you there's um, it doesn't matter if you one falls uneven that can be corrected as you go along again second one up over okay through down pull up as you see this knot now has gone lower all I'm going to do is undo it slightly from the base of the knot, pull up, pull down, and pull in even. You might get the you. I'm gonna. I know I'm gonna get critics saying, "Oh, them knots are too big." They're not. Believe me, they're not. I've caught 
many a ferret, there are many a rabbit with these nets, okay? So as you carry on, let me just change over again. So we carry on until basically, let me shorten that, as I say, shortening, what I'll do is, I just take this off, I double it over, like so, okay, double it over like so, through, up, and attach off, okay, there you go, so now, that's shortened now, right, here we go, as you see from this one, here, Hang on, let's just maneuver my phone. I've just made a makeshift stand for this actually. Just raise it up a bit. There you go. I've already tied the top line, okay? Top line already tied, all right? And all I've done then is gone down to the second line, taking hold of, taking hold of, Okay, you imagine I've worked this one all the way through, taking hold of, coming back to where you started on the side, and then taking one line in, going down, and knotting again. Okay, pull down. I measure my height, okay, which is great. So let's continue back on this one. And that's what you do. So from now, you've come one in, go all the way along, keep on going till you reach the end, okay? And you have a strand left. Then you fall back onto the other side again. And from now, you drop down. Two, one strand in. Yeah, up, but uh, not up. Pull through, pull it down, roughly get your edge. There you go. So, okay, and again, or a bit of mistake there. There you go, mistake made. All you've got to do is undo it, come off, okay, you started here, so here, following the same line, pull through, down, even off, okay, in again, next one, same line, Round, through. I will continue doing this line until we get to the next one. Not off again. Just making sure that they're all pretty even. And again, pull through, pull down. Right, as you see there, and you see there that knot slightly higher so all I'm going to do is just loosen the knot off I'm pulling it out of the top of the knot now pulling down and there you go evened up again next one around down I don't know if you can hear that in the background it's my dog rummaging around the workshop amongst everything up there and again carry on I must admit this is so much easier if you can anchor the ring off at the top the top ring off it's so much easier sitting down it's better on your arms and what have you but as I say I'm standing just to 
do this video for you. Okay. Keep on going down. Or across rather. Another one. It is surprising once you get going how quick you can actually complete a net. And as I say, I find this so relaxing and so rewarding at the end of it all. You know, draw down, pick up, just a couple more to go. Next one across. Now to, he's now in, he's now decided to investigate the armor body boards. Shit. Okay, next one. And there you have your odd strand at the end coming up. Next one in. So I've got two strands left now. My end's my further strand. This is actually being filmed back to front to me because I've say I've I'm trying to keep an eye on the filming and the camera. So obviously. I've got it facing me, the the the, um, the phone camera. Last two, come across again, loop round, through, pull down, pull down, tighten out. There you go. So that's three runs done now. And again, you turn, you come straight back to the beginning again. Here, and there you go. Start again from here. One strand out, loop over, and around. Okay, and down. Check. That's it. And just carry on. You do this all the way down. Okay, just keep on going and going and going. Right, here's um, just grab this one here. Just let me um, take this. Sorry, bit of blank screen there. Just let me take this off for this one. I'm just using this loop again. So, tracing the loop on the line here. Round. There you go. Looking that up there. So it's hooked up now. Okay. Zoom her in. Right. Obviously, this is one I've finished off. Let me just stick that up there. Okay. Now, right at the very end, I can demonstrate on one of these. Uh, I'll use this one here. What I've done at the end, when you get right to the end, let me just pick a couple of strands up. Hang on. I know this is quite unprofessional, this video. But what you do then is, as you get to the very end, your last twines as you make your knot just knot off okay just knot off yeah right so hang on a minute let me let my dog out knot off like so and you do that, you do that on the base of every one, okay, like so, okay, and what I do then, I get the ring here, I get the ring, okay, and what I use then is just an odd piece of twine, okay, uh, I'll demonstrate with this piece here. So to attach to the ring, I hold the ends up, okay? I just thread all through. Tie this one off, okay? T 
tie, tie one end off here, like so, onto the ring. So tie that one off. Okay, so that's now tied off. Okay, then I get the end. Okay, take that through and around. Okay, like so. So I'm just looping it on. And then the next one, I bring on, loop round, sorry, loop round, and back through the ring, okay? And then slowly you attach them off, okay? Let me just undo all this, get rid of that, because I want this now, get rid of that, take this one away. And basically what you're finished off with doesn't look very tidy, but that's what you're finished off with, okay? Okay? That's what you end up with. That's the bottom ring of your net. Okay? Then, what you do then, your drawstring. Okay? For your kill. No. Through the ring, zoom her in. Through the ring, here, just pass it through the ring, like so. Then from here, top hole on the far side, through, pass down through the next one, the next one, the next one. Again, through, you keep on going down right the way down the outside, in, out, and in, all through the outside mesh, okay, let me pull this up. All down through the outside mesh in out in out in out okay pull that one off even it out let me just try and hook this up a bit higher for you even it out. Okay, so now you're at the bottom, you come in, last hole, last one, come through, leave that there like that, and repeat the other side. So you take this off here. Right, so repeat the other side. Okay, let's just do it, come up again. Again, furthest, furthest net, furthest uh, hole through, okay, and you just keep on following down, through again, pull it through, keep on going down, and out in out in out In, out, in, I 
I'll keep on going down to the bottom. Hang on. Keep going in. Now, I'm down on my bottom last loop now on the opposite side of the, the net. Okay. There you go. Okay. Now I pull one of them through the loop. So they're both so one's on one side of the loop and the other one's on the other side. Okay. Even them out. Even them out at the base. And get your peg. As I say. I use anything, wood, um, hardwood, anything. These are, I don't know if you've ever seen them from the solar lights, you stick in the ground, plastic, all I've done is melted a hole through. They don't rot, and they're lighter. Okay, go yeah, through there. This is where I say about melting the ends of them. Okay, let me just tuck that one through. If you have trouble tucking them through, double them up, push them through double. Okay, push it through double. Pull that through. Pull that through. Okay, that one. The next one. The reason the other one frayed through, I've actually melted this other one. And as I say, it's so much easier when you do do just um, seal the ends of the nylon. You'll soon know when you start working with it whether you have to or not. Okay, pull that through. Take them down together. Okay, knot, there you go, there's your knot, okay, pull through, and there you go, one net, okay, one purse net, okay, there you go, they work. Pure and simple, they work. Um, any queries, genuine queries, and help, just uh, email me, all lowercase, oldmanamo54 at gmail.com. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope to get back with another video soon. Ta-da.